Today on The Grid, our topic is Adobe just released an amazing new version of Lightroom and that guy still isn't happy. Mr. Kuna is back. The, e the key man, the Kuna man <laughs> is back in the house. We're going to have a spirited conversation today. We got some cool giveaways and someone watching live is going to win all of them. And it all starts in just 30 seconds. It is brought to you by Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should too. Go to platypod.com. Hey, hey, welcome everybody. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, hey. It's another live episode of The Grid. We are very happy to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Mr. Kuna is here. Hey, K-Man, Kuna Man, Kuna. Hey, hey Grid Nation. <laughs> Peace out, Grid Nation. Peace out, Girl Scout. What's up? Anyway, it's a very, uh, very fun day. Lots of, lots of cool stuff happening. Of course, uh, on Tuesday, uh, which was yesterday, as a matter of fact, uh, Adobe had their big keynote. They announced a big, big uh, changes to Lightroom, to Camera Raw, some new stuff in Photoshop, kind of. And uh, anyway, that's all coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, we're going to talk about that because that guy still isn't happy. Yeah. We'll talk about that it's in a minute. The that guy's. That guy. It's that guy shows up. I always, it's, you know, it's, we'll talk about it. Oh, yeah. It's, we're going to unpack this. But anyway, we're glad you're here. It's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to show a little of it today. I'll show a little bit of like, kind of just, here's kind of what the excitement's about. And, and it's, it is something to be excited about really. Maybe is. that guy will get excited. He's Let's not going to get excited. It. No, let me tell, let me tell you about that guy. If you were standing on the corner and you were handing out hundred dollar bills, like here's a hundred. Oh, you, here, here you go. Here you go. When you got to him, he'd go, Oh man, where am I going to break a hundred dollar bill? Do you have five twenties? It's that guy. That's that's the guy we're talking about, but but a couple of that guys showed up and 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 then it, oh yeah and then it turned nasty and then it turns into a get that guy party yeah then it's a that guy but party then, then that part, that guy calls his friends because you know yeah. he's got other that guys yeah. then it's those guys yeah but you know what's interesting it's never women <laughs> you yes. notice that it's, it's never women I mean it's I don't know never if I'd say never but statistically you are correct oh dude I it's <laughs> Oh, okay. I can think of Never one person. Never is a hard one, but statistically, but you are statistically. definitely accurate. Also, I have big news. I'd like to. Can I make an announcement? Is it okay? Yeah. All right. Ready? Absolutely. They ordered me a new chair, and it's going to be here today. <laughs> it's already shrunk since I've been sitting here. I just felt it a minute ago. Go boom. They ordered me a new chair. It's going to be here it's today. It's going to be here today. Very Couldn't excited. Be here this morning. Though. And hopefully, it's just. I said, they, don't get me one that moves up and down. Get me one that's just tall. And then <laughs> made of plastic. Kuna, you ever see him? He's sitting nope. on a chair that you can't change the height on it. Nope. Kuna never is. He's always at the perfect height. I want to be at the perfect height. We have well, giveaways next week. Next, next week, week, perfect height time. We hope Wait be, a minute, that'll be the next show. week's we'll, the conference. Oh yeah, no, won't no be show next, next week. week, right? Because the conference. Speaking is of on. next week, we should probably talk about. Speaking that. of next week, we are just a few days away from the portrait photography conference. So um, go sign up right now. Here's why: because on oh, yeah. Monday, I've got a class that I put together that was a a real. It was a bear to put together because it is a whole entire class. It's a pre-conference class. And if you sign up for the conference, you get to come the day before. It's called What Makes a Great Portrait Photo. But I really needed to have great examples and I had to, I need to break it all down. And it's, I, I, I'm really excited about it and I would love for you to see it. Uh, now, if for any reason you can't make it next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, that's okay. If you sign up for the conference, you get the archive of it for an entire year. You can stream it live. You can watch classes you missed. You can rewatch classes you loved. It's all good. And it's incredibly inexpensive as long as you sign up now. If you wait to the last minute, it's expensive. So don't. Sign up right now. It's Join still us. A v it's an awesome deal. Oh, it's Even. a ridiculous deal. Even ridiculous. if you wait until the last minute, In it's a fact, ridiculous deal. I really think it's too cheap. Way it is too, too cheap. cheap. We talked about Way that. Way too cheap. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hundreds of photographers all over the world have already signed up. Come and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great community. Oh, gosh, my mic is... My, my chair. Yeah, my mic can't even chair. go any lower. That's how, that's how bad things have gotten. Yeah, and, <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyhow, anyways. Eric, we got some giveaways. Let's yeah, talk about we got, those. We got a, uh, tons of giveaways. So uh, we're we'll giving away a Platypod multi-accessory kit. So we've got that. That is like the the thing you need if you have a Platypod. All those little um, doohickeys and attachments and mounts and all that good stuff. And you get 50% off uh, the store uh, for anything in the store as well. Um, and then on one no noise AI, we're giving away on one no noise AI plugin. Uh, great tool for noise reduction. Uh, if you're not doing any kind of like noise reduction, this is definitely one of the softwares to pick up, and it's super super fast. Super and then, fast. And then along the lines of plugins, we also have the Boris Effects Optics, which is uh, nice. we love that too. That is like the uh, visual effects, and it, well, it says there, visual effects for photographers, that's exactly what it is. And then um, then finally, a book, a new book, a Lightroom 7-point system book by somebody possibly holding it up right now. Possibly. Right here? Yeah. Somewhere. Live it, love there it. There it is. There it is. Uh, Scott's Lightroom 7-point system book. So there you go. If you want to win any of those prizes... Uh, screen capture that right there and post that uh, shot of that in the comments. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Or just leave us a comment. Uh, tell us where you're from, what you'd like to win. Uh, also, if you have any questions, that's a good place to ask us in the comments. Uh, we'd love to answer your questions if we can get to them uh, as well. So uh, just leave a comment and you're entered, uh, entered into the contest. Hey, do we ever tell them to get, where to go to sign up for the portrait photography conference? Uh, no, but you can go over to kelby1.com or kelby1live.com. Kelby1live. Kelby1live.com. Go there. So, and, and you go uh, right there. Click on Now, uh, if you went to kelby1.com, yeah. you remember, it's going to be on the member site as well. You know, but, there's a lot of great instructors too. You've got oh, yeah. like Joe McNally. Yeah. And you've got Mary Bell. Peter Hurley. Peter Hurley. Terry White. You've got, yeah. Yeah. Hilmar. Glenn Dewis. And, you know, I, I asked for Rob Foley to be there because yep. Rob is so great at sports portraits. And a lot of people do those. A lot of people do portraits of athletes and stuff. And he, and he does it on a pro level, and he's going to show you exactly how he sets well, it up and, and does Frank, it all. Frank, we had him you on the show Frank, last week. Yeah, last we had Frank week, on and, last yeah, week. He's and, going to uh, be doing stuff. Yep. Yeah. So it's going to be great, and uh, and again, you get the whole thing archived for a year. I mean, it's, that's you know, mm -hmm. it's ridiculously awesome. All right, so uh, I want to just take a second. I want to kind of show you what the deal is, why everybody's so excited, because honestly, the the reception of people who have used this is 100% glowing. Like everybody's like, this is incredible. Yeah, I think you might've hit something on the head there of, I think a lot of people don't actually use it and they they, they knock it down before they've actually yeah. used it. That's actually a problem in a lot of our society yes. nowadays is that we take the headline and we go, oh, it must be terrible because I think everything Adobe does is terrible. Oh, but pe people are loving it. Now I, I did do a class that was released yesterday morning so mm -hmm. right when it came out, when Adobe said, okay, it's safe to say this exists, I came out with a class. And I'm reading the comments from the class, and I'm reading the comments Yeah, because on you've been page. using it, you know, and testing oh, it Oh, I've been using yeah. it. I've already written a book on yeah. it. I've already written a book that's at press. I mean, yeah. I've been working on it. We were, like, talking, you know, we can't say anything when we're on air, but, like, we're like, this is awesome. Oh, like, I'm it telling is you guys, we're, we talk about it internally, and uh, this is game-changing stuff for Lightroom. Because, it really is. So... What it is, is I always want to be able to go to Photoshop to do the things I need to do there. But I only want to do it when I really need it. I want to do as much as I can in Lightroom. And if I need to go to Photoshop, I'll go at Photoshop. Um, and I'll talk about a comment that somebody made there as well, which just... Anyway, <clears throat> but th this masking that they've added is going to reduce your trips to, light to Photoshop by... 30, 40, 50 percent? Yeah, it's probably going to be 50 percent or more for yeah, me. Yeah, like you will have to go to Photoshop. I mean, less. that really is the reason a lot of times I'll switch over to Photoshop is things like yes, masking. Like selections because, and stuff. Yeah, selections, right, because yeah. at the end of the day, you know, Lightroom does so much. And I go to Photoshop to do, to do Photoshop magic. I want to do something crazy. I want to do something amazing, you know. Uh, but my everyday like, meet hit a button stuff. and it just selects the subject. That'd be really yeah. cool. Yeah, like select subject <laughs> over in like you go to Photoshop and you press one button and, and it'd be like boom, subject. there it is, boom. And then, it, but in Lightroom, you you got to paint in the edges and it's a whole different world, right? So 
Um, I want to show you real quick. Uh, can you guys see my screen? Okay. Boom. So here's what's different. They, they changed all of the, well, wait, first, I got to tell you this. This is important. Eyes back on me. This is important. They didn't take away any stuff. They're, all of your favorite tools are there. They're just better and more flexible and more powerful. So, cause that was the first thing that people started to freak out. Oh my God, where's the adjustment? It just might be it's all there a behind a button. So yeah, it's all there. All your stuff is there. <laughs> so, so that's the first part. They are now under all, they're all under an icon. So yep. you click on this icon yeah. and it is a gray circle with a little white dotted line around it. It's right here. I'll show you right there, right there. Now, can, can I just see, can I, I don't know if I can zoom in. Can I zoom in? <gasps> I can. All right. Cause uh, sometimes we had problems with that. All right. Right there. That is the masking button. So when you want to use the adjustment brush or the linear gradient or the radial gradient or any of the things we've been using all the time, they're all under that little button called masking. All right. Let's just click on that. Now it brings up what is <laughs> ready. It's a floating panel. Well, it floats. You, you must have docked you, it already. I did. Right? When you yeah. get it, it's over here. It's I can't even undock it. Oh, I, I didn't to, understand that. Like, why did they? Yeah, I got to like, un everything's undock locked, it. I and then how. it's like boom. Now we're gonna put a floating panel in. Yeah, I, I forget how to undock it, but it doesn't really matter. You can undock it, and it floats. But I was thinking, after all these years, mm -hmm. every like, why float it now? Because I want one more thing over my photo. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I did was I docked it over here, and obviously I've never undocked it even once. Yeah, mine's, mine's <laughs> I docked it. You can dock already. it right here, so that way when you click on the tool, it just pops up right here. Otherwise. It pops up over here, over your photo, which is just, I don't get it anyway, but here's what you have. Look, select subject. And the thing that nobody knew, nobody even knew was in Photoshop called select sky are both there. If I just click on select subject, it looks at the photo and goes, oh, there's your subject right there and selects it. That's it. And now if I adjust the, now it shows up in red at first to let you know. So you see what you're yeah. working on. And then when you, as soon as you touch a slider, it goes away and you can adjust it separately. Right. But here's the thing that makes this so powerful. So you have a look, you have a little masks panel and stuff like that. So you can keep track of them, mm -hmm. switch them and all. But mm -hmm. if you go, uh, let's say I'm going to create a new mask and I'm going to sit hit select subject. But what I really want is to select the background. Mm -hmm. You can click this button called invert and now it selects everything else, mm -hmm. which is that is incredible because now you can fix your backgrounds and make them darker and make them blurry and do whatever you want to do. Uh, just uh, it, it, it's amazing and it just does a really, really good job. Now, what's interesting is I was editing this photo before and it worked absolutely perfectly. Now it's got, it's selected part of the fan. Yes. I do not know why, but it's easy it enough decided. to fix because you've got a mask. You can just go grab your, um, grab your uh, uh, adjustment brush and just paint over the mask. You can just go brush. And, oh, actually, here's the thing. Let me undo that. You see the little three dots over here? You can add to your mask or subtract from a mask. Here, let me just click on it. See, it says add and subtract. Mm -hmm. I need to, it selected too much. So you can just hit subtract, use the brush and say, no, not that. And not that part of the chair. And that's it. I mean, I it, mean, it, it works is, it is astonishingly very well. Astonishingly well. And also, you're a landscape or travel photographer. You hit select sky. Boom. Your sky is completely selected. And then selected. you can just go select inverse and work on your foreground. Yeah, it's like inverse. So, I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, so anyway, that's it's, it's, it's just. It's all those things you went over to Photoshop to do in that selective masking. Or you used to have to, like, really get in there and, like, do the adjustment brush. And it was kind of annoying. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. And anyway, I'm just touching the tip of the iceberg. I did an entire, like, hour-long class on it. So, um, and maybe we'll play the, maybe we can play the it, promo it is, so you can it see is. it phenomenally good like yeah. this is really good yeah like, guys I this mean, that's is what, like this is a major update this is the thing that we wanted in lightroom forever. forever and i never thought it was i mean i didn't think it like maybe five years from now or something and we, and and they worked on this i think for three years yeah i mean this is like a big and bomb i'm telling you what i because you know eric i can be sometimes critical of adobe yes we can in the yes. lightroom team but they nailed this. They absolutely nailed it. I don't find myself in here wishing 
that, oh man, I wish they did this or I wish they did that or if they'd only done this or I'm just like, oh God, this is Yeah, a there's like world. things that like you say wish, but then you click on it and you're like, oh yeah, I could just inverse oh, yeah, or oh yeah, is. I can just go and create a luminance mask now. I'm telling you, and you know what's interesting? It works the same way on your iPad and on your phone. Yes. They did it all the way across the entire ecosystem. If you have the cloud version, uh, also known as the version for children or the uh, classic version, either one of those, any one of those, it's, it's in all of them and they Finally. did just such a great job. Finally, across all products. Across, across all products, the entire Finally. Lightroom ecosystem. And it's also in camera raw. Yep. All right. Okay. Coming up next, we're going to look at what our topic is today, which is everybody is so happy with this, except for that guy. And there's a couple of that guys. We're going to, we're going to look at them in just a second. So don't go away. Guys, Adobe just announced, I am not kidding, a groundbreaking update to Lightroom and Camera Raw, and it's across all the Lightrooms, whether it's classic or cloud or mobile or whatever. Crazy stuff that they did with the masking. Am amazing, wonderful changes, everything, because they took some of the AI stuff and the machine learning stuff and the amazing, crazy Photoshop stuff, and they put it in Lightroom. And guys, I'm telling you, this is game-changing, mind-blowing, crazy stuff. You're gonna be able to work faster and more efficiently and do things you never thought you would do in Lightroom. They have done an amazing job with this. I'm telling you, <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely awesome. And I put together a class and it's a short class. It's not a long one, it's a short one. And when you're done with this class, you're gonna to totally get it. You're gonna know it all and you're gonna be able to apply it to your work right away. It's gonna change your game. You're gonna love it. You're gonna have a blast with it and I cover it all in my brand new class. So come check out my brand new class on all the cool new Lightroom masking features over at kelby1.com. For over 20 years, leading software developer Boris FX has made its mark on the film and television industry. Now, our Academy and Emmy award-winning visual effects tools are available for photographers. Welcome to Optics. Optics is a collection of 160 filters for Photoshop and Lightroom. Simply apply the effect and launch the interface. Optics features thousands of customizable and creative presets for photo editing and effects layering. The top tools include lens flares for cinematic looks, realistic night skies with star fields and moon generator, add lightning with on-screen interactive control. The Easy Mask tool creates masks with just a few clicks. Optics is available now as a plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom and includes the standalone application for Mac OS and Windows. Get Optics now for 25% off. Visit borisfex.com, add Optics to your cart, and apply coupon code KELBY25. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by b &H Photo, the professional source since 1973. Hey, we're back. Me and Eric. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're got back. some shout outs there. Yeah, Eric. we got people joining us all over. We got uh, Lynn saying hi to everybody. Hi, uh, Lenny. Rex saying hi from Tucson. We got Susan from a gloomy Columbus, Ohio saying hi. Uh, we have uh, Serena from the Poconos, Pennsylvania. Then we got uh, Laurent all the way from uh, Phoenix saying hi. Uh, Mark from Skegness. Oh, we got Paul from St. Louis, Missouri. We got Leslie from Woodbridge, Connecticut. We got Little Herman saying hi from New Hampshire. Uh, Michael saying hi uh, to the Grid family. We got Tony from Sweden. Paula from France saying hi. Hey, they're from Disney. Oh, 
I've been, to, I've been to France Disneyland twice. Yes. It's great. Yes, it is I great. love it. I love, I love how they have, uh, when you're leaving the park, they have the back entrances to get out. So you don't have to like Oh, yeah, that's down. true. Yeah. You know what else, too? Their Space Mountain is scary as crap. Oh, yeah, it launches you out. Oh, I didn't yeah. like that. I didn't know that was coming. I thought it was going to be like <laughs> Florida. Ooh. No. I'm not riding. No. I'm not, I've never ridden it again. I'm not riding that again. All right. And then uh, Jerry saying a uh, big shout out to Scott for the new Lightroom tutorial and Adobe for the Lightroom upgrade updates. Upgrades. So there you go. Hey, thank you. Thank you. And then um, Cindy saying, I'll be watching your new class soon. I've played with the new masking tools on my own, and they truly rock. And, and that is the, that is the, the, what I'm seeing again and again and again is people saying, hey, I just played with these tools. They're amazing. This is great. I mean, it is, it is a love fest of people who have used the tools or tried them or even just looked at them and said, hey, I've got this. But what it is, is there's, there is a certain group of people that have never gotten over the subscription thing. They've just never gotten over it. They will never get over it. Yeah, you know, there's a word that always comes up in their comments. Yes. So it's, and, and w w when they refer to it, they refer to it as the perpetual yes. license, which just means I want to buy it instead. And, and what they don't realize, and this is what I would love to say to them, if like we're at a coffee shop talk and I'd go, so you want to buy Photoshop and Lightroom, okay? Photoshop is $799 before it was a subscription. Lightroom's $150. So you're going to plunk down $950 today to have Photoshop and Lightroom and own it? They wouldn't do it. Who's going to write you a check? Who's going to say, yeah, $950, no problem? <laughs> That's not when what you we used to pay. Not when you have and, the and, alternative. And, so, and, that, and because it was nine, well, actually, when Lightroom came out, it was $300. Mm -hmm. So it was, that was actually the upgrade price. $1,100. And then you paid 150 for the upgrade every 18 months or whatever. Okay. And then if you wanted the Creative Cloud, we're talking like $3,500. Right. Yeah. If you wanted to buy what was called the Creative Suite, Suite at the time, yeah. it was like 30, it was 3,600, yeah. something like that. So it was out of reach for many, many people. Many, many people could not buy it. Just period. It wasn't available. So the only people that used it for many, many years were professionals. Like you had to justify spending $950 on software. So the, the, now if you look on my Facebook page, there are 232 comments on one of my posts yesterday. And, and we're gonna talk about the, the, the bad guy here in a minute, but I just did a post and uh, here's what I wrote. I said, uh, today Adobe is releasing a major update to Lightroom with a new masking feature, including some AI wizardry it brought over from Photoshop. This is an absolute game changer. Biggest thing to happen in Lightroom in years. They nailed it. And then I sent them over to an article uh, on lightroomkillertips.com written by our own Rob Sylvan. Rob is, uh, writes my column on uh, every, usually on Wednesdays, but because it was a release on Tuesday, he did a special post with all the stuff. And Rob does a great job of breaking everything down, showing you how it works. He, he's the greatest. Love Rob. And he's just a super smart And, and if you know you... For you to say things like uh, something about Adobe and a new release and saying game changer, you usually will kind of soften it a little bit. Yeah, you know? I'm so, usually kind of critical. Yeah. Like, oh, they got close. They almost nailed it, right? Yeah. So, so I, I mean, what, hey, you know what? I do give Adobe crap. And so when they, but when when they, they do it, it, they do when it. They yeah. nail it. You got to give them all. So you can't just take one side of it and be a curmudgeon yep. all the time, right? So, uh, and I'm not, I don't think I'm, you know, but no, it's just, no. There are certain things I've, I've made, uh, I've talked about over the years. All right. So, of course, um, you've got that guy who comes out of the woodwork to tell you why everything's bad. So first he writes the biggest thing to happen to Lightroom in years. And he put that in quote. So he's taking my quote. The biggest thing to happen in Lightroom in years is part of the problem with subscription services and why customers want perpetual license back stagnation. So I wrote back to him. I was a little snarky. Now I'm not normally snarky. But I'm just like, oh, God, it's that guy. It's the guy you're handing oh. the $100 bills out, and he's like, oh, I don't want that. Can I get some? How about 10 tens? Anyway, he wrote, there, uh, I wrote back to him, and it was a tad snarky. I wrote, there are literally millions of subscribers to Adobe's plan. Their stock is at their all-time high, and only a small handful are still holding on to the dream that perpetual license is coming back. It's not. And Adobe has not stagnated. We get new features generally four times a year, at least four times a year, 
not many software companies can claim that. Maybe Tesla. Yeah. Tesla and Adobe yeah. give you major features or even just like important enhance features. enhance your product. They make your product better. Better than when you bought Four it. times a year, like three or four times yeah. a year, they do a release. And the big release, of course, was yesterday. But that's a good that's a good analogy. Yeah, Tesla and Adobe definitely. Tesla do and that. Adobe they, they update their software and the they software actually is included. Do it. In they your, actually release it and yep, do they it release and make it. it they don't just talk about it. Now, Capture One had a release this year. They a, did a hundred and fifty bucks, right? Or was yeah. it one hundred and eighty? It was one hundred fifty. So one hundred and fifty right, bucks. Look it up. And so the, the whole thing is this. First off. It ain't never going back. They're never, I don't imagine in my lifetime, we're going to see Lightroom or Photoshop ever sold on its own. Guys, this is the biggest, most successful thing Adobe has ever done is, is the subscription service. And guys, it's not just Adobe. Everybody is moving to a subscription service. And if they haven't killed their perpetual yet, they're gonna. This is the way it's going. And by the way, we've been saying this for years and we're watching more and more. You know, even uh, even uh, Capture One now has a subscription service. Yep. Now, once they've got a subscription service and it's got tons and tons of people, they're not going to maintain two different versions, the subscription version and then the perpetual version. When you buy the perpetual version, you're stuck. When a new camera comes out, when, when the new OS breaks it, or whatever. And so I get letters from people that are using Lightroom 5 and they're like, I bought your new book and I can't open any of the photos. You're using Lightroom 5. Do you know how long Lightroom yeah, 5 I came mean, out? You're, 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 you've got an, an old, outdated, not supported software. Yeah. And that, that's why, honestly, there's another side of this. The reason software companies don't want to have perpetual licenses is the support. Yeah. There's, the computers change so much. Uh, operating systems change so much that if you have to support every perpetual version that you did, yep. it just becomes a nightmare. And that's why they're moving away from that. Now, of course, luckily, a bunch of people came back and say, hey, I love this. I love the subscription. Because the subscription thing brought Lightroom and Photoshop, which are professional tools designed for professionals, to everybody, yeah, which yeah. I celebrate that. I think that's great. I didn't want it. I don't want it. I don't want to live in a world where we can't use Photoshop and Lightroom. Well, and, and honestly, I mean, we were joking about it in the beginning, but like that's one of the things that we always have with the price. You know, the I think that when when it first came out, we were very critical of the price. Yes, we became less critical of the price when it became more accessible to people because right, they lowered the price. That's one of the things that we talk about all the time with our training. Yeah, is trying to make it accessible for people. It is probably less than we should charge for it, but we feel like that's the right price and that's the right thing to do. And I think Adobe did that with nine ninety nine a month. You know, I mean, it's to that price where it's opened up to a bunch of people. All right, here's somebody else's comment. They said, uh, no monthly fees. It's all good for greed at Adobe, but not so for the user. How is making the software 10, bu 10 bucks a month Nobody charge. You're getting two programs, Photoshop and Lightroom, the industry standards used by professionals for 10 bucks a month. How is that? Oh God, I just, the whole thing about this greed thing just really gets me. Adobe isn't being greedy by asking for 10 bucks a month. Is Netflix, is Netflix greedy? Do you ever call Netflix greedy because they have a $10 a month subscription? It's 12, isn't it? I think it's, it went up. It matters on what what plan you're in now, but okay. let's well, say you, 10 you to 12. 12. There's not 10 anymore. I think there might be a $15 one. All right, there's too. a 10 or a 12, right? But nobody goes, oh God, Netflix is being so greedy. Oh, Netflix is fine. Netflix is great. Oh, but Adobe, I want to use their professional tools in my work and I want to charge for it, but uh, I don't want to pay the 10 bucks. Anyway, I'm just, I, I'm literally up to here with the that guy. Well, you know especially, what especially the, there's another side of it is, yep. we, I got some more comments we know, we know a lot of the people over at Adobe, and we know that their sole motivation, they don't sit around and go, how do we get more money out of people? How, we're, we're just greedy, we just want more money. It's like they're actually making their software better, and they made it to where we have a tool that's way better. The Lightroom is way better today than it was just a few days ago. Yeah, I mean, like better. light Light years better. Light years better. Um, so uh, here's another comment. If you download the new version, it's amazing. 
you know, I mean, all, most of the comments are so, they're just, man, I just, is, it's great. Just had a quick play with selecting subjects in Sky and adding selections to each other works really well. There's hardly any reason to dip into Photoshop now unless you want to clone. Come on, Adobe, move the clone stamp. I, I would love to see the clone stamp and the healing tool come over. Uh, yeah, I, we talked about that. That's the two things that we said. Yep. Man, if oh I could man, get those if you could two. bring over like the real clone stamp and the real healing brush. But but you know what? I love, I love we're Photoshop. Really... I love Photoshop. I'm not yeah. giving it up. But here's what it is, and this is this will really frame it for you. Is I don't want to go to Photoshop to do production work. I don't want to have to go to Photoshop to remove a power line or remove something. Yeah. Know? I want to go to Photoshop to be creative. I want to use the magic, magic. that is Photoshop. Yeah. The clone tool has been in Photoshop since version 1.0. It has been in Photoshop 30 something years. I have to go to Photoshop to clone because the healing brush is so bad. The healing brush in, in, in Lightroom is horrendously bad. It's not a healing it's, brush. Everybody talks about <laughs> it's it. It's, it's, like, it's not a healing brush. It's calling it a healing brush is just it's a disservice but anyway there's a possibility that come next year yeah or come later on in right. this year right you might get an update that goes hey now you got the real healing brush right all right when we come back we're gonna read some more comments we've got lots of fun stuff including people attacking me personally which is fun because all i did was create a class <laughs> <laughs> for people that are kelby one members to learn the new software which is by the way my job I gotta have some job, right? Eric Cooney here and I want to tell you about my new class over on kelby1.com. It's about advanced Milky Way post-processing. We're going to go through all the steps you need to know, taking your image from that raw file all the way to a processed final image, right? And we're going to go through dealing with light pollution. We're going to talk about how to nail that white balance and really enhance the Milky Way and enhance the detail in your images and then those finishing moves that create that dreamy landscape where really the the Milky Way and the landscape kind of become one and that image really pops and has that depth and dimension you want it. We're going to show you noise reduction tools to really enhance those Milky Way shops and wipe out noise. Uh, things like Topaz Denoise, On One No Noise, uh, DxO's Deep Prime that really take that noise and just wipe it right out. The other thing we're gonna do is show you tools and techniques that I use to speed up my workflow and really make it lightning fast. I'm gonna show you how I do it with actions and presets and panels to get done with the image faster so you can get on to creating your next image. So come join me on the journey with my next class over on kelby1.com.
This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. Hey, we're back, Scott and Eric, and Scott and Scott's in the little chair. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that comment from Rex there. Uh, 10 bucks a month is a great deal. Yeah, it is. And look at Dee's comment. Yeah, and Dee's saying, I couldn't afford Photoshop years and years ago, and just because they didn't, just because they, they didn't have a subscription. Yeah, she said they didn't in all caps. Yes. They didn't have a subscription. So option. they didn't, yeah. Uh, so I had to go with Elements for many years, and Elements was restrictive. Well, yeah, it definitely was. Um, it is actually more affordable now. When um, they moved to the subscription, I actually thought, what? I can have Photoshop and Lightroom? Yeah. You don't $10 have to pay a nine, month? 950 or back in the day when wow. you do the, You used to have to pay 1100 Now it's 10 bucks a month. You know, that if you've been through literally like a Wendy's or a McDonald's, if you go to Wendy's and you just get a, a, a number a, two, a, a day's meal. double, yeah, just the, a, fry a and a drink, combo meal. it's $8.13. You're just, just like a drive through a fast food thing. And you're yeah. like, 10 bucks. Oh, my God. It's a ripoff. It's a greed, the greed of Adobe. Do you ever go through Wendy's and go, my God, the greed of Wendy's, the greed of McDonald's. Oh, Pizza Hut, you're soaking us. Big, you know what's funny? Have you seen the Little Caesars? Pizza Hut, Have you're you seen soaking the, us. <laughs> That's pizza the Hut. of the week. Have you seen the Little Caesars pizza where they're referring to the other pizza brands as Big Pizza <laughs> Big pizza. They call them big, like big pharma. It's like, oh, yeah. big pizza's trying to keep you down. But seriously, yeah, I mean, it's, it's Wendy's. Like, I, the only reason why I, I mention know. Wendy's is because between my house and here is just a Wendy's. I yeah, got no other is, drives right? through, right? It's yeah, right it's Wendy's there. Wendy's or going to Dunkin' Donuts. That's about or Dunkin' Donuts. Well, I'm not going to have lunch at Dunkin' Donuts, but, uh, you know, Wendy's sounds good. Anyway, <laughs> back to our story. It's freaking eight bucks. It's eight bucks and some change for just yep. a burger and a yep. fry and a drink. And you're like, man, Wendy's is ripping I'm, me I'm off. I'm really surprised that the price hasn't gone up. I'm stunned that the price hasn't gone I'm up. I'm really surprised. Just, now, I, here's what I would think that they would do. It just seems like everything nowadays, the price is creeping up. Dude, creeping everything, up, creeping everything up. the price is going up. My gosh, groceries, but, holy cow. But hey, you know. Hey, I, I got a tip for you. A Wait, I got a tip. I got a food tip. Okay. Guys, you know, I'm very passionate. It always goes back to food. I'm telling you what, though. Makes the world go around. It's, it's bread. Now, there's all kinds of keto bread and low-carb breads and crap. And they're all like, okay. Yeah, Sara yeah. Lee had one that was pretty good. This is freaking white bread. Like, you know, wonder. Like It's like getting a like slice a of wonder bread. But keto friendly. And it's like three three or four carbs a slice. It's phenomenal. It's from Arnold. So Arnold, it's called Arnold Keto Bread. It's just keto in big letters. I'm telling you, it's the best bread I've had in low carb world ever. I'm telling you. But hey, they took those right. carbs out and they're still charging in the same price. Wait it a must minute. must be the greed. Hold, well, I was going to tell you, it's $7 a loaf. It must be the greed. It's seven bucks a loaf. Yeah, you would think they, I mean, they took the carbs out. It should be They took deeper. the carbs out. It should be less. God, yeah. I just realized Arnold's ripping me off. Yeah, ripping me Holy off. Holy crap. Keeping That's the fastest down. seven bucks I'll spend. Dude, that, that keto bread. <laughs> anyway, back to our story. <laughs> All right. So I want to read you another comment. This is another one of those ones that I'm just like, oh, come on. So this guy writes, so, and now he's, re he's referring to Lightroom with the new masking. So, it's becoming Photoshop 2, and I'm basically paying for two identical programs. Yeah, they're identical. They're absolutely identical. Yeah, and the bridge is really good. <laughs> Come on. It's like, do you I mean, not use like these Lightroom programs? Lightroom is like the best digital uh, asset management thing yeah. for photographers. I would have to say, you, you don't use one or the other if you think they're the same. Because, well, and the first person comes back and says, hardly. It doesn't <laughs> hardly. have layers. Just better ability to find masks for local adjustments. That's what it is. So, person on Facebook who will rename, <laughs> remain unnamed. Um, there, it's not. It's just it's 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 making masking better in Lightroom. Photoshop still does all the wizardry and all the magic and all the stuff that can only be done in Photoshop. I mean, they even added new features to Photoshop. They yeah, uh, they added new features <laughs> to Photoshop. But guess what? Those features are not in Lightroom. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're, it they're, you, you still need more, both. It didn't you cost you any more for those features. Yeah, and you just got a whole bunch of new features yesterday. Anyway, but um, so 
The next guy says, Adobe really needs to fix things that count in Lightroom, not fix bad word that we don't need. So, number one, I'd like to know what it is. But can I, I want to say something before That's we go any that, further. Yeah. This is important. If you are running Lightroom and it's running slow, oh. it's because of you. Yes. That, it's thank on you. you. It thank is you. not Lightroom. <laughs> Lightroom does not run slow. Lightroom hauls butt with one exception. When you first import photos, the thumbnails do not show up as fast as they should. Now, I choose minimal and they come in pretty quick, but they don't come in as quick as, say, Photo Mechanic. Yeah. But that's, Outside that's, of that, that's not even the comparison. Once yeah. your photos are in Lightroom, they literally haul butt everything. There's no lag. There's no lag when you paint. And if there is, you've done something wrong. I write about this extensively on LightroomKillerTips.com. If you're running Lightroom 5 and it's not running well, that's on you. If you're running it on a five-year-old PC, that's on you. If you have full screen previews turned on and you have 2,000 presets like a buddy of mine did, his Lightroom was unusable because he had literally 2,000 presets and he had preset preview turned on. Oh. Guys, I write a, a, a blog every week called lightroomkillertips.com. Rob That'll Sylvan it. writes it with me. And I, I, I say, if your Lightroom's running slow, it's either this, 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 this. Do you know what happens when I run that article? Oh my gosh, I never knew. It's so much better. Now it's fast. I hear it again and again and again. People send me personal emails and stuff. Like, I've been struggling. I thought it was Lightroom and I changed this. One big thing that people do, they take their catalog, their catalog, and they put it on an external hard drive. A which slow means external hard drive. A slow too. external hard drive. They'll put yes, like, like they'll put a, it like on a, a slow external one. hard drive. Yeah. But even on an external hard drive, even at all, on an external one, it's going to kill it. Not your catalog. It's going to kill your performance. Yeah. So there are things that I write about these in depth all the time. If Lightroom runs slow, it's not because Lightroom is slow. So that's where I go to imagine what he's thinking about here. Like you need to fix things that count. Like the only thing I can imagine well, and, is, and, and that's what what ends up happening with these people, right? Is uh, you know they're so critical of it, but then when you actually dig down, it's like, well, I only have like four gigs of RAM in my computer, and my operating system's taking it. Like you said, it's it's something else that's causing the problem, but they blame it on Photoshop or Lightroom. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So uh, it's just like when we do these online conferences, right? We have a conference coming up next week. Yep. I don't know if we mentioned that. But you'll have somebody that'll, that'll get upset and they'll call our customer service and I can't get in here and I'll, and you okay, okay uh, what, what machine are you using? I'm using a Dell from 2005. What browser are you using? Opera. I'm using Opera. Opera. And we're like, like try, try Chrome. Can you try Chrome? Oh, it works. Oh, oh, it works now. Everything's fine. We tell everybody that, of course, at the orientation. We're like, you might want to use a new browser. Or the, the, my favorite is when the audio, like the audio is not coming through and somebody's like commenting about it and then like come to find out it's just like the computer's muted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the computer's muted. All right. Hey, we got some great comments coming in, but... Uh, Coming up next, we're going to read these comments and we're mm -hmm. going to read some more, some more joy from the Facebook community. Uh, there's hundreds of comments uh, on my post and all I did was show the, the mask panel. Uh, but anyway, but luckily most of them are good, but some of them are, well, less, less, less so, perhaps. Hey there, my name is Brett Malley, I'm a Kelby One instructor, and you should take a look at my latest class on advanced landscape compositing. In this class, we really take landscape compositing to a whole other creative level, where you get to imagine it and create it from all the different pieces of landscape images in your archive. So check it out right here on Kelby One.
Would you believe us if we told you that you could fit studio lighting in your pocket? Well, Lytra has made it possible. Lytra is a global award-winning brand that designs and manufactures professional grade camera lights that are compact, rugged, and waterproof. Whether you're using Lytra gear in a photo studio or underwater, Lytra's mission is to provide content creators with flexible and unlimited lighting tools that can mount on any camera, anywhere. Their lights come with a high CRI or color rendering index, making them some of the most color accurate lights in the industry. Due to the light's compact and rugged design, photographers are able to use the lights in ways that their studio lighting never could. Lytra has also made multiple lighting accessories available to fit your every need as a creator. Whether you're shooting portraits, nailing a product shot, or even flying your drone, they have got you covered. Lytra enables photographers and filmmakers to focus on their craft and create something beautiful. What will you create? This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. Hey, we're back, Scott and Eric, and uh, uh, oh, two things, uh, wait, two things, three things, two things, two things, well, maybe three. First off is, I did remember how to undock the, <laughs> the mask panel. Go over here, uh, can you see my screen real quick? All you do is go over and see the word mask, you right click on it, and it says undock from panel, and there it floats. And then if you want to dock it, all you do is click and drag it over here and you'll see a little blue line comes up and it's docked. And uh, I, I much prefer it. I, the very first thing I show in that class is how to dock it. Like, come on. All right. We have a, a such a thoughtful, and I, I mean like well thought out, not like thoughtful, like nice, like kind, but a, a well thought out comment from Mike Brought. And so I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, Eric, if you want to ch uh, read that, that's a... Uh, sure. So Mike's saying, um, uh, subscription uh, is a professional investment in the tools you use. Adobe uses that consistent income to make the products better at a faster rate than even before. Combine that with the fact that Adobe is one of the best when it comes to engaging with and listening to its user community, you'd be hard pressed to find anything better out there. Subscription isn't an investment in Adobe. It's an investment in you and the tools you use to make your art. There you go. There you go. That, that's really it. It, it, is, it. You're not investing in Adobe. You're investing in your, you're buying, you're, you're, you're not buying. You're subscribing to tools that help yeah. you make your work and make your living and make and your maybe art. Maybe so if just... that $10 a month is, is not working out, maybe, maybe it is that it's just, something that you're not willing to invest in your photography and that's fine yeah. you know? uh ken says really smart on adobe's part they make a hundred dollars 120 dollars a year off me instead of using a pirated copy i personally feel good about that really uh by the way somebody of course wrote in the comments i oh, just pirated it i just pirated ever since they went to subscription i go to torrent sites and i download it and all and uh, that's that's nice that you're admitting stealing good well done yeah good all on right you. so uh here I, I do have something else to give away today i want to add okay. another thing to the thing so uh we just sent off to press my lightroom classic book so this is my big thick lightroom book the one that i've been doing since day one uh and uh it is uh translated into every language you can imagine and it is going to be uh, it's all updated with all the new stuff but i didn't just update it with all the new masking and stuff i flip in I went through the whole book and like, like my, my editor, Kim was just talking to me about it today. She's like, this is a whole new book. Like, it's just, I went and just, it was a bear and I've been working on it for a long time. I've been working on it for longer than Adobe worked on the math three years. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, anyway, you can, uh, it's going to be on Kindle first. It's always available the ebook version first, then the print version will follow. But you can pre-order it now, and uh, that's it. The Lightroom Classic Book with all the latest stuff in it, all the new masking and everything else. Okay. Awesome. So uh, there was three things I wanted. Uh, we're gonna oh, we're gonna give away the ebook today because we have to wait for a while. So when as soon as the ebook is released, which will be literally you know any day now, we have to wait for Amazon to to flip their switch. Uh, then I will uh, I will get you the ebook. So we are gonna give away the ebook of my brand new yet to be released, but very, very soon book that you just saw on the cover. All right, that was two, was there something else? I think that's it. All right, so I'm going back through the comments and it gets really nasty. So someone goes through a whole thing where, they, where they're like, you know, 
They're saying, like, with Scott, it's all about the money. It's all a money play and all. And I'm like, I don't know what money you think I'm getting from you. Yeah, using right. Lightroom. So Adobe does not, does not give me money. I'm not an Adobe employee. And, and the money play is... I've got a family. I got two kids and a wife and bills and stuff. I have to pay bills like everybody else. I'm not on a on a free money program. Um, but I, I don't. I, it's not like if you use Lightroom or don't use Lightroom. Believe me, the Lightroom team is does not love me. In fact, there are people on the Lightroom team that I would have to say hate me. Um, I imagine if I call Adobe and they see my name on their phone, they're like, oh God. What is he whining about now? Because all I ever do is complain. And uh, it's interesting, but that is, I don't complain just for the sake of complaining. I, I'm trying. And you're to, not complaining. You're just trying to make the product better. Yeah, I want to make the product better. And, and I want to, I've always felt like I, you know, the, I have such a large Lightroom community, right? Between the books and Lightroom magazine and, and the Lightroom tours yeah. I've done and the Lightroom conferences and all this stuff that I, I want to be the voice of the people to Adobe. I want to be someone that says to Adobe, hey guys, we're all struggling out here with this. Can we get this feature or can we do that? So it's it's mostly that, right? I, I, and, and, um, and I'm looking at people's comments here, man. They're all, they're all great. Um, but uh, let me just, yeah, I just had a quick play with selecting subject. This is amazing. Uh, I was blown away watching the demo. Looks awesome. I can't wait to get home to work to try it. Uh, and then there's, that guy. I wish Adobe would improve the digital asset management DAM tools in Lightroom. The DAM tools were my biggest draw to Lightroom. Eric, what is it? What? That's what I'm saying. Like what? it is the leading. It's the industry standard for asset management. What? I mean, is that's it what you got. That it like, doesn't do. Like, and there might be like a specific use case because that's usually yeah. what it comes down to. Is yeah. Like it's like. Well, for me, I want to organize by this exact thing, and, and well, that feature just isn't in there. But I bet that the person that wrote that, the feature is in there. They just don't know how to do it. Mm, I will say this. Lightroom is not the most discoverable product. Like people no. tell me all the time, God, I wish I could do this if they would. I'm like, dude, it's been in there since Lightroom 3. And they're like, what? And I show them and their minds are blown. There's a lot under the hood of Lightroom. It is a much more powerful program than it appears at a at a quick glance so that's keep that in mind and and that's why i tell people yeah, watch our classes on kelby one because we're always on top of this stuff i even covered some of the weird stuff they they added some weird stuff to lightroom too that you're probably not going to use they also added can i tell you about one thing they added yeah so in photoshop it's the best tool you're going to turn off as quick as you can Oh, if, yes. you're, if you're an intermediate or advanced user, you will not be able to turn this feature off fast enough. So there is a wonderful tool called the object select tool, right? So if you've got a picture and there's, and this cup was in there and you want to select the cup, you just lasso around it and it goes, oh, there's a cup, boom, and it selects it. Now you might think, why don't you just use select subject? What if there's five cups? It will select all five cups. Do you go, no, I just want this cup. It's really good. They added a new thing to it to make it better. They added auto masking. So what it does now is it looks at your image and it analyzes and said, here's all the things you can select. But when you click on the tool, it has to stop and analyze the photo and it spins. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. People don't like that. It does not happen instantaneously. It takes a few seconds. Every time you click the tool for a new image, it has to analyze the image and then it calls out those places. Now, this is really good for beginners. For beginners that don't know, oh, I can select that or I can just work on that. Or it's very visual. Right. It's kind of like you're talking about with Discoverable. Like you can see it and you can go, yeah. oh, I didn't think I could select just that yeah, cup. Yeah, I didn't know I could just get that cup, you know. So it, it, it has, it's just, it's a little slow. It's a little sluggish. Now it may get better as time goes on, but then again, it may not. But anyway, so I'm just, uh, yeah. I, I'm just, I look at these comments and, and it's 90%, this is the greatest thing. And then there's the, the snarky one. You know, somebody, uh, well, I, was, I was talking to one of my buddies on the way here in the car and he said, he said, this is what basically happens with people in Lightroom. If, if, we, if Adobe announced the 2023 version of Lightroom will cure cancer. 
He says, how many seconds would it be before somebody went in and wrote, yeah, but what about heart disease? Like they just can't give you enough, no matter what it is, 10 bucks a month. How much are you really paying for Photoshop? Yeah, now the redeeming right of this conversation is um, <laughs> the 98, yeah, it's, 9% it's, it's percent of everybody. people are totally in agreement. It's just that small percentage of people that, yeah, it just seems like no matter what you do, it, it's just not going to be good enough. So that's the redeeming value of this topic is most people think it is awesome and we think it's awesome. Uh, and, you know, Rebecca was asking a question about any issues with the new Lightroom Classic update being compatible with Luminar 4 plugin. I haven't noticed I any just, issues. I just opened just it up it? and yeah. I tried it and no problem. I haven't heard of any I mean, now Luminar issues. 4, there's a new version called Luminar AI. So uh, both of those were working, but yeah. I don't imagine there'd be any Yeah, I don't think you're going to see really any major, you know, because no. they, didn't, they didn't change the architecture of the program. They added, yeah. they added a new masking feature. Yeah. Now, just remember this. When you go to upgrade, it's going to tell you you're going to have to upgrade your catalog. Don't freak out. It's now, sometimes with the plugins or like you just mentioned, upgrading the catalog, if you don't keep your plugins updated and there is some kind of like change that they had to do, well, then you could break your plugins. And that's yeah, why you make sure keeping always... your computer updated, keeping your software updated, keeping your everything the right check boxes on and off, that's important because then you'll end up being to where you're blaming Lightroom for something that it's like, well, but you didn't update your plugin. Yeah. There you go. Look at this. Just tried it. This is awesome. And that's mostly what's here. This is yeah. exciting for sure. And uh, anyway, there's lots of great comments. If you get a chance, go to my, my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash skelby. So it looks like skelby. And there's a long reason why I have that stupid uh, name for it. But anyway, there's uh, 292 com 232 comments, 258 shares. And uh, it's just interesting to see yeah. how it's like, this is great. This is awesome. This, yeah, but what about, oh, it's all a greed thing with Adobe. So, boy. It's a money grab. It's a big money grab. It's all Adobe just sitting there. How can we just steal money from people? Just like Wendy's and Pizza Hut. <laughs> Big pizza, hut, big pizza, big, big pizza, big pizza. All right, all right. Yeah, I got a food tip in today. That's cool, right? Yes, well, it's right, always so good when we talk Arnold, about food tip. But Arnold Keto. Holy, cow, I'm going to find it for just, you. Just, just know that he's going to tell you about the prizes. I'm going to go find the Arnold Keto for. Yeah. You. So speaking of prizes, uh, we're going to be giving away the Boris Effects Optics is going to Sandy, um, and then Mike. Langish is winning the seven point system book. And then we have Sean Einerson winning the accessory kit for the Platypod. And then Vincent Scanlon is winning the no noise plugin. And then EA Collins is winning the Lightroom ebook. If you just email us over at gridprize at kelby1.com, we'll uh, verify your information and then send you out your prize. So All you right, go. I found it right here. Arnold Keto Bread, this is it right here. Arnold Keto bread, so good. Wow, so good. Seven dollars and seventy-five cents. It's very cents. expensive, but when you think of how many sandwiches you're going to make for that, wow. And it's not a big long loaf either. You know what it is? It's the greed of Arnold. Yeah, they they cut out a little bit. You know, it's Man, greed. It's, but I'm telling you guys, it's like real bread. It's like real white bread. Like you think you're a kid again, because <laughs> you you had to stop eating Wonder Bread at some point, right? At, one, yep. at some point, you realize this is the worst thing in the world for me. I should start smoking. It's smoking. I wonder Wonder what bread. it is. <laughs> and you're like, nah. Anyway, but uh, yeah, this keto bread, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that stuff is off the easy. All right. So, so you get extra stuff on the grid you don't get on other photography shows. We go mm -mm. deep into the other stuff about your life. Hard hitting keto. You know, um, we don't talk diets. about enough on this show, Eric. Um, love. Love. Yes. Yeah. We don't talk about enough about relationships and love and chairs that shrink. Love for subscription models. Love for subscription models. Yeah, by the way, just so you know, love. Eric and I, neither of us receive a kickback from Adobe if you buy a subscription. We don't get any money. What's weird is Christina does. 
I know. It's just Christina bar- gets a cut of every mind. Adobe subscription sold. She's good, at right. nego- she's good at negotiating. What can I say? Next week, we will not have the grid because of the portrait conference. But I hope to see you at the conference. Guys, sign up now while it's still inexpensive. Even if you can't be there next week, you can watch it for the whole year. It's streaming anytime on demand. So uh, that's coming up. Come to the portrait conference. It's going to be so much fun. These conferences are a blast. Oh, they're great. And I've got some them. good stuff cooked up. Ooh, ooh, I got some good stuff. I've been working on it forever. Longer than I've been working on my Lightroom book. Not really. But we put a lot of effort into these conferences. We want to make them absolutely stellar. And mm-hmm. a lot of people come to every single one we do, which is mm-hmm. great. We have a very uh, faithful audience that knows that if we do it, it's going to be good. So. There you go. Do we, we do all our stuff? That. Do we do anything else we need? We have a whole week between now and or and no, yeah. no. We'll be back the week after that. I don't know if we have anything. Oh, the week after up. that, it'll be time for blind photo critiques. Yeah, it'll be time for blind. Oh, photo I do. Critiques. I got one thing. I got one more thing. Ready? Okay. This is episode four hundred and ninety of the grid. Ooh, 10 more. In 10 episodes, it's going to be our five. We got to do something special. Ron was telling me this. Yeah. So we got to do something special for our 500th. Yeah. Maybe we'll create a perpetual license. We'll create a perpetual license and sell you the show. <laughs> oh, we should go to Hawaii. We did yeah, that. Yeah, go to Hawaii. Yeah. We went to Hawaii. Canon sent us to Hawaii to do the grid live from their mirrorless product launch. And we did the grid literally poolside. At that was the nice. Ritz I like I like that what Juan's nice. thinking. I like Juan's thinking there. I like Juan's thinking. Yes, Hawaii, Juan. I'm Hawaii, off. the rest, the Hawaiian restaurant down the street. Yeah, that's not the same. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for hanging in there. Thanks to everyone who wrote kind things, which there yep. were many. Thank you for everyone who defended me. There was a guy in that in there. I'm not going to tell you what the comment was, but he came in and dropped some napalm on somebody who was being super mean to me, and they roasted him. <laughs> and so I see all of your comments, and I'm very grateful for those of you who pitch in and and <laughs> just this poor guy. Hashtag roasted. Hashtag shots fired. It went really badly for him. Anyway. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Kuna. Yes, thank you. Christina, Jason, Juan, Mike, Ron, and all the crew here at Kelby will have a fun, fun day. See you next time. The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should, too. Go to platypod.com. Brought to you by Platinum.